In this ventral view of the skull, you can see several of the large bones. This is the palatine process of the maxillary bone. It forms about two-thirds of the hard palate. The back edge of the hard palate is the palatine bone. This structure, which you can see extending into the nasal septum, is the vomer. Lateral to the vomer are the pterygoid processes, a medial and lateral plate on each side. Medial pterygoid plate, lateral pterygoid plate make up the pterygoid processes of the sphenoid bone. In this area, you're seeing a suture line between the sphenoid bone and the occipital bone. So all of this is occipital bone. The large opening in the occipital bone is the foramen magnum. These two bumps are called occipital condyles. Each lateral surface is a temporal bone. This is a temporal bone. This is temporal bone. Some of the processes on the temporal bone include mastoid process and the styloid process. This odd little plastic thing represents the articular cartilage of the jaw joint. That's a joint formed by the mandibular condyle and the mandibular fossa on the temporal bone. This is a zygomatic process of the temporal bone and it forms a suture with the zygomatic bone. If I tip this just a little bit, you can see the maxillary bone and how the upper teeth fit into the alveolar processes on that bone. The final two structures I'd like to show you are openings. This is the foramen magnum, and on each side of the skull, if you look just in front of it, a little to the side, you'll see an opening. That's the jugular foramen. Very close to that is another opening, the carotid canal. Of course, in this plastic skull, the carotid canal does not penetrate the plastic. It looks like a small depression.